Good morning out there. Joe Bernstein here on a rainy, cold, wintry DC day. Uh, feels like all of January and February has been rainy as heck up in here. Uh, no snow, but lots of rain. Um, it's all right because I'm embracing this challenge. Having become a cyclist this year as a way to commute, I'm learning how to cycle in the rain, getting my waterproof gear, getting my ass out there, and not making excuses. Uh, it's invigorating and challenging. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk to you today. I'm not here to talk about the weather. Um, wow, talking about the weather. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the costs that we pay, the prices that we pay to have the life that we want. And our consciousness of the prices that we pay and our unconsciousness of the prices that we're, we pay, right? So um, essentially, I, I remember back when I was a bow store manager and there was a part-time employee I was interviewing for positions. We had several great candidates. And I always used to ask questions about values and about mentors and about leadership in their personal life and leaders that they've loved, as opposed to just, you know, these like functional competence uh, questions. And, and so I would ask people, tell me about a lesson that you've learned from a teacher, mentor, or parent that's really stuck with you. And... I remember this one guy, his name was Julian. He said, my dad used to always say, pay me now or pay me later. And then describe what that meant. That meant that one way or another, you're going to pay a price. So either you put in the work, the effort, the, the labor, uh, the challenge, the sacrifice up front, or you're going to have to pay later. Now, what I've learned in my work through coaching clients, through my own personal transformations, is we either pay the price up front and we do it consciously, or we pay the price on the back end and we do it unconsciously. And I often like to say, choose comfort or, com or discomfort will choose you. Or sorry, choose discomfort or discomfort will choose you. Meaning I'd rather choose to go to the gym and bike there in the rain and do a really hard workout than experience the pain and discomfort that might come from health challenges down the line, right? So I'd rather spend several years building my business, not creating that much income so that I can have freedom, autonomy, and do something that is purposeful for the next 30 years of my life as opposed to continuing to work corporate jobs. So I was talking to a guy yesterday and I was really trying to drive in that concept. Uh, he was talking to me about his relationship. He was saying how his wife and him have this really kind of um, challenge and he finds himself getting really frustrated with her. He's not finding a lot of patience with her. And one of the th issues that comes up and they've got a lot of things coming up, but one of them is money. And he says, you know, I, I've done a lot to get us out of debt, but then it seems like she is just unconsciously trying to put us back into debt. I asked him to describe the situation. And he basically said, well, you know, um, she has her own money. She has her own credit cards. That's cool and everything. But when she maxes that stuff out, She'll ask me for something and she'll say, you know, I'm only going to spend 30 or $40. And then later he gets a bill for three or $400. And so I said to him, well, isn't it time to draw boundaries and to say no and to not give her the card? And he said, yeah, but when I, when I say no to her, she freaks out and she gets mad. And she tells me to leave and she doesn't like stay calm and she's not nice to me and this and that. So I just, you know, I give her the card. I said, I'm going to have uh, a really important moment here with you where I'm going to tell you that no matter what, you're paying the price. The cost or the price that you don't want to pay now is you don't want to spend that extra money. You don't want to be in debt and you don't want to be frustrated and angry with your wife. So that's the cost, the price you're paying. If you want to change this dynamic, if you want to change this pattern, you're going to have to pay an upfront cost instead of responding negatively to her behavior, which you are empowering, by the way, there's codependency here. If you were to actually learn to say no and handle the discomfort of you saying no, feeling like the bad guy, being called the bad guy, and the wrath of her anger, you might have to walk out sometimes when she says to get out. You might have to hold your ground and just stay calm. You might have to learn new skills of mindfulness and patience with yourself and with her. But either way, if you don't want the cost, the price that you're paying on the back end, which you're frustrated with, tired with, and you feel like is really damaging your relationship and your life and your peace, then you're going to have to pay a different price. And the price is going to be on the front end. 
So I'm always working with myself, I'm always working with clients to understand what we gain and what we get when we make choices in life. The consumer or the victim is unconscious of the prices that they pay for the comfort that they seek. They're unconscious of the level of discomfort that's connected to the, price, the, co the choice that they make to have comfort up front. So in this scenario, his comfort was he doesn't want to be yelled at, he doesn't want to say no, he doesn't want to have to hold the tension of her being mad at him. So instead, he lets her spend a bunch of money and he actually compromises his own values and he then is put back into debt. They, I should say, are put back into debt. And at the same time, he then gets angry at her. He gets resentful of her. So that is the example. And that's the challenge. A consumer is unconscious of the price that they pay and will often resist paying the upfront price that would create change. A creator is conscious that everything has a price, everything has a cost, that we either change the price we pay or we don't change. We either change the upfront cost or we keep paying the back end cost, the back end price. So this looks like other things too, right? This looks like, as I mentioned my example with, with exercise and food and diet, if you want to have a healthier life down the line, then you put in the energy and the effort to be uncomfortable in your movement and your exercise practices. You might need to put some boundaries up with yourself, you know, when it comes to when and what you eat, right? I'm not saying like deep restriction because I don't believe in that, but some boundaries, some lanes to stay in, right? We're going to have to do the uncomfortable things and pay the price to change the way we live. And a creator is conscious and weighs those costs against each other when he makes choices, and he makes those costs really visible. He makes them really visible to himself at the point of choice, at the point of choice. And instead of beating himself up, shaming himself, saying what's wrong with me or what's wrong with her, or what's wrong with the world or what's wrong with everyone else, he simply says, okay, I went unconscious and I made the choice that I'm paying the price that I don't want to pay. I'd rather pay a different cost, so I'm going to make a change. So being the creator of your life is about creating consciousness of your choices. Creating consciousness of your choices means that we need to create consciousness of the benefits, the payoffs, and the costs of all of our choices, and the benefits, the payoffs, and the costs of all of the choices that we are not making, but that lead to us having an uncomfortable, unhappy life where we feel stuck, stagnant, and we don't feel lit up. I want you to live a life where you feel lit up. I want you to live a life where you're creating consciously through your choice and through your action, the relationships, the career, the personal health that has you excited, alive, vibrant, and awake. That's what I'm put on this earth to do is to help you wake up to these opportunities and to help you figure out how to make those changes that get the job done. So pay me now or pay me later, just for today, when you're about to make a choice that is going to cause you challenge down the road, stop and ask yourself, what's the price I'd have to pay up front to not pay the price on the back end? If you need help with this, if you have questions, drop a comment, hit me up with a personal message. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.